Hey guys, so before you here is a Garmin fish finder. This is something a little different for me because I normally don't fish lakes. I normally fly fish in rivers and stuff like that. And because on the lake you require technology like sonar and stuff in order to figure out what's in the water, I didn't really bother. But I think I'll now try to fish lakes a little more. So to do that, I got myself a, uh, a sonar as well. So the things I was looking for in a sonar system was it needed to be portable because I have an inflatable Zodiac and I break it down every time I use it. So having it mounted on the boat would not be an option for me. This unit here is probably the biggest unit you can get that's portable. So I looked at all the other brands, uh, Lawrence and Hummingbird, and I came up with the Garmin. Uh, this guy here is actually intended to be mounted on the boat, but there is a kit here that allows you to mount it in like a portable case which you can move around so that's a must if you want this to be portable of course you can put it in another bag and buy another battery and stuff like that but it's just made things easier by picking up the kit um so what i also looked for was it needed to have a big screen because with these fish finders there's a ton of technology in them there's a ton of information on the screen so i felt like i needed to see the screen as best as i can so this one here is a nine inch screen and because you can see here they're splitting the screen in many different sections getting the biggest screen is an absolute must for me uh, nine inches i feel is going to be perfect for me if, and i can't go any bigger the next thing is touch screen uh, this unit has touch screen and also has buttons over here so you can actually do stuff but yeah this is really important because i'm used to using a cell phone and my tab and stuff like that so um, just it's more intuitive to use and I think it just makes more sense now in today's age it also has maps my boat is not very fast so the more maps I have the better I could see uh, the depth of the water another kilometer away so I don't actually have to move my boat there I could take a look on the screen and get an idea so this will save me time for sure um, this thing I think gives me some future proofing because of the big screen it's going to be relevant and because of the technology that can be put in this thing. So if you're familiar with Garmin fish finders at all, they have something called Panoptics technology, and this unit here can utilize technology. I just have to buy a, an add-on to it. It's not cheap, but it's probably something I'll add on sometime in the future. Another requirement for me was it needed to have side view. Side view basically lets you see the sides of the boat. So if you're looking for structure and stuff like that, this is exactly what you want. So when I'm fly fishing on the lake, by fishing in shallower water and because the surface of the water is always going to be the same you can't really see it so this, seeing the structure underneath is a huge benefit but yeah so let's go and open this up and see what's inside
that's basically the installation right there. Um, so right now I only have this one transducer um, and I'll probably pick up the other one at some time in the future but who knows when. But the case is very sturdy. I like the case a lot. I don't regret buying it even though it's kind of expensive. Uh, the, the, the fish finder itself fits pretty well in this case but you can see it's kind of like depending on the angle you have the screen on it doesn't close too well so it looks like in order to actually close the screen I mean close the case you have to have it in like the right position like that and then you can actually close it um, but it, it does the job though it's all right it's not too big of a deal there are mesh pockets on the inside here so you can see these on the on the other side as well uh, let's see let's actually lock this in place um, yeah, I went ahead and wrapped coils, I mean the transducer cable around the back here along the handle, which is kind of what you're supposed to do. But yeah, I'll give you a peek of what it looks like in here. So here's just the power cable, you have transduce, the transducer, and then you have the battery in there. The back of it, nothing really, and some more transducer cable. Uh, let's go to the back here, show you that. Oh, some more mesh pockets on the side. It's nice to have on both sides. And on the back here you have, um, yeah, just another view, the battery. It's easy to access the battery, so if you need to charge it, you can charge it. Um, it was probably hard to see this during the build, but yeah, the battery gets kind of fastened to the plastic holder here. And you have another mesh pocket. Oh, this one has a zipper on it. So you could put something in there. Uh, another thing that I actually like a lot is the handle. And because the unit is actually pretty heavy, you get this handle with good support on each side. This handle should last. And a nice holder up here. Uh, pull it back to the front. And that's how. It looks like when it's on. Well, that's basically the build. Um, a couple of things about this. It is kind of small. I really don't understand how people fit more into the bag than this. Like the panoptics thing that I mentioned before, people throw that in here too and that thing's kind of big. It's kind of, so you really have to manage your space pretty well. Um, also, because this is an ice fishing rig, it doesn't come with suction cups to mount a transducer. So in my case here, I'll have to go pick up uh, a suction cup or something, something so I can put the transducer on and attach it to the transom of my inflatable boat. Um, other than that, I'm quite happy with this. The screen looks amazing. It doesn't really look all that good on video, but in person it looks much better. Um, and that's basically it. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll probably give you an update of this after I use it. But so far, so good. Looks good. All right, thanks.